Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this Laravel video tutorial, we will learn that how we can delete the data from database table. So uh, first of all, I'm just going to show you that what we are going to achieve in this video, right? So we will just uh, get the list of the all records from this members table on our HTML uh, table, right? And after that, I will just uh, define a delete link uh, respectively every record and on the click of uh, this delete button we are going to delete this record from the database right so i will just erase this code and we will do it from the scratch so now these are the points of the video we, we, we have to make a model and controller then we will just plot a list with the delete button as i just uh, show you here then uh, we will make a route and delete the data from the table and at the last i will ask you the two questions which is very interview uh, very important for the interviews and you can attempt these questions in the comment section also now let's uh, get started first of all let's make a controller just write php artisan make controller controller and controller name so let's say my controller name is member controller hit enter and here we go so this is my controller name and I'm just going to make a function with the name list right because first of all we need to plot the list then we will make a delete function for delete it right now let's uh, make a route for it and just go to the web.php import this file use app http controllers and uh, controller name which is member controller right now let's make a route for it route and uh, our route name can be list and uh, here our okay so, um, this the function name is get and the route name will be list right and in the second parameter we will use the array to define the class member controller colon colon class and in the second item of this uh, array we will use the function name as in string which is list right here we define the list function so now let's uh, let's let's make a uh, view with the name of list or anything whatever you want dot php just take a h1 tag and just write here members list or something and now let's uh, just return this view from our controller so just put here a view name now let's try to access it now you can see that we are able to access the member list but we don't have any data for that let's make a model php artisan make model and our model name should be member because our table name is members and uh, table name is always be plural and model name is always be singular if you want to make a correct mapping with the laravel model to the database table so just use here model member hit the enter this is also created now go if you want to check it you can check it inside the uh, models and here and now let's import it also inside the controller so use uh, app models member right now just take it inside the variable which is uh, member colon colon all which will we just fetch the all record and in the view let's define the second parameter as an array and the key will be like uh, members and the value of this key will be the data right now let's go for the blade and just define a table here and you can make a table border if you want one pixel then tr td for the id and let's define three more actually four 
uh, for the name mm -mm, my bad then email address and at the last operation right so now let's uh, make copy of it and uh, just define a for each loop here for each and uh, we have to use here uh, members because we pass the members key here in the list view right and uh, the for each is ended also here now let's uh, let's try to see what we are actually getting here now you can see that we got the uh, complete table but the data is not uh, dynamic actually so just simply put here item id right and let's uh, just make it copy and paste again 3 4 and 5 and let's define the name and uh, email address and address and at the last here you can see that everything is uh, dynamic not let me check because we have to use here dollar now yes so let's define a link here and for the link what we can do we can define a, a tag and uh, we don't need a quotes here just simply use your id like this and here just uh, define delete we will make this uh, route for a moment we don't have it but that's okay we can make it and just write here delete like this so now we have a link here okay so still again we got an error because we just forgot to put here dot now fine so now if we are trying to access it now you can see that our id is passed passing in the url with the delete route so that we need to make a delete route just copy the previous one and make the another one and just put here delete and we will make a delete function again in the controller so let's uh, make a delete function we don't need to copy the previous one because this is not gonna use too much so just uh, simply uh, use here dollar data is um, member colon colon find and in the find we can pass the id right which is we just get from the here right so for that we need to just pass the dynamic id from here also so just simply pass the id like this now just uh, put here dollar id and just use dollar data delete like this and now just uh, return redirect and just simply put here list route now after just deleting the record it will automatically redirect to the list page right so just go back here let's check out the old records we have the 16 records so i'm just gonna delete the last one here you can see that on the okay so just make me refresh it right we have the 16 record with the last name is anil right so i'm gonna delete it so now you can see that we got the 15 result and uh, let's make it refresh and we have the 15 records now right so everything is working fine with that way you can delete the records now by time to interview questions i will ask the two interview questions as i told you first one is whenever we are actually deleting this so we just refresh this page but uh, user don't notify that the record is deleted or not then uh, how you can just show a uh, some message or uh, some tool tip that uh, the user has been deleted like whenever i'm just going to delete it and it just need to show that this user has been deleted how you can just achieve it and the second thing how we can delete the more than one record at a single time right so these are the two questions you can attempt them on uh, the comment section if you want 
so stay tuned subscribe channel and please don't forget to subscribe my uh, uh, please um, don't forget to like my video also bye bye take care